Victoria Police are warning seniors tonight after an elderly man was scammed out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Tess Van Stratton is following the story. She joins us now live in the newsroom with the latest on this. Tess. Scott, this is really a sad story. A 90-year-old Victoria man was taken advantage of, robbed of more than $200,000 of his life savings. Police say the alleged fraudster took the money under the guise of home renovations. It went on for months until the seniors' bank became so concerned, Royal Bank employees actually went to the seniors' house because of the large withdrawals from his account to see if any reno work was actually being done. It happened on this quiet Victoria Street where the senior lived alone. Bank employees couldn't find any sign of renovations and quickly alerted police. An investigation was launched and a pattern soon emerged. The senior's neighbors told police that the man came to the senior's house several times in the last year. He did enter the house and he was in there probably doing nothing and uh, just scamming the guy and then getting a check on his way out the door sort of thing. How often would that happen? I only saw it once or twice, but apparently it's happened more than that. So. And how do you feel about somebody taking advantage of somebody so vulnerable? Well, let's just, let's just say, put it this way. I'm glad he got caught because if I had found him, it would have been a different result. Police set up a sting to catch the scammer, sending undercover officers to this street and asking neighbors to call when he came over. But police say a routine traffic stop is what led to the arrest. 47-year-old Richard Patterson, who is well known to police, was pulled over for a broken taillight. He's been held in custody and will be in court September 15th. Police say this kind of thing happens more often than you might think, and seniors are especially vulnerable. They grew up in a different generation. They trusted people who knocked on their door. They it, it would listen to community members and things like that. So when we get something like this, it certainly concerns us because they're just preying on that trust that these seniors still have. And it, it just creates more victims. Police say the 90-year-old victim in this case is incredibly embarrassed about what happened. Neighbors tell us he's no longer in the home. He's been moved out of it. As for getting his money back, even though there are criminal charges, he will have to launch civil action to try and recoup his losses. Scott?